Hola, hola, welcome to this week's live webcast. Okay, awesome. So I'm just making sure that we are on and live. So I'm looking on my phone so that I can see your comments, which I'm excited for. And I'm excited to give you part eight on developing your third eye and your intuition. So this is what you're going to be needing today, okay? And I hope it's not frozen and that you can hear me fine. <laughs> let me let me actually make sure. I'm going to put the phone, let's see, the volume up. See if you can hear me. Okay, yeah, I could hear myself. So great, awesome. So this is what you're going to need for today's um, practice. You're going to need a pen and a paper. Okay, and you're going to need the three index cards of the yes, no, and maybe. And it could be the same ones we used from previous videos. Okay, so you want to have those cards available. If you do not have it, just get three index cards and write yes, no, maybe on, this, on one side of it. And you want to have a pen and a paper because we're going to be doing an activity. So I'm really excited to do this with you and before we get started into the practice on part number eight on developing your third eye and your intuition, I first want us to recite the pledge and I ask that you recite this with me and it is recommended for you to say this at least once a day and this is because it triggers responses within our body to really show up the way that we want to show up for ourselves. And accomplishing our goals. Okay, great. So here we go. I pledge that from this moment on, I will do whatever it takes to be the best version of myself. I will be kind to myself. I will love myself in every state that I am in. I will invest in my personal growth and I say yes to myself and I completely embody the belief that I am more than good enough to attract all good into my life. Great. Thank you for reciting that with me. And you can get that on my website at miracleswithinus.net backslash pledge. And you could get that directly into your inbox with also the, the past recordings of these lessons that have been going on from this pledge live life your way so here we go as we do in the beginning to activate our third eye I want us first to bring in that energy right so now we're going to bring in that energy the life force energy into our hands so we're now focusing our energy into our hands okay so focus your energy into your hands into your hands and then just keep them in prayer position and just feel the energy starting to build up in your hands. Okay, just feel that energy, feel it there, feel it there. You're wonderful, you're doing great. So now start pulling it out and you're going to still feel like this connection, right? You feel the energy and this is what I want you to start getting used to. Right to feel your own energy and to feel the life force energy flowing through you. Right, this is our connection, and then bring it out just a little bit more. And if you feel as if you lost the connection, put your hands back together, rub them back and forth until you build it up again. Okay, great. So now we're going to transmute all of the energy into your dominant hand and into the thumb. And we're going to tap on the third eye area. And this is to open and activate the third eye right now so that we can channel. Okay, so this is so that you can receive the channeling of your divine, right? And sometimes you could just keep your thumb on it or tapping. And this is in light tapping. You're not doing it hard. You're doing a light tap. Great. You're doing awesome. Doing a nice light tap. Now slowly remove your arm, your hand, your finger from that space. 
great you just opened up your third eye and if you don't feel anything any sensitivity keep doing it until you start feeling your third eye area being more sensitive and open okay great so now i would like you to take out your pen and paper okay so take out your pen and your paper right and i want you to write down five questions that can be answered with yes no or maybe response so you want to write five questions that you want answers for right through your divine connection and you're going to write them down so i'm going to give you a moment okay five questions that you can answer using yes no or maybe response okay and just one question at a time so you know you're just asking one question and when you're writing the question you want to start off is it in my highest intention is this in is it or this right whatever the this is in my highest intention right is it in my highest intention to continue doing these live videos on Facebook is it in my highest intention to continue to share my channeling with the angels with everybody okay so those could be some of the questions that I would ask yeah so then you want to now come up with questions that you would ask right that are relevant to your life maybe it's around love maybe it's around money is it in my highest interest to um eat whatever maybe it's that like should i you're thinking about two different places of eating or meals is it in my highest interest to eat this or is it in my highest interest to eat that right now right whatever it is and you can use this in your everyday i use this all the time when making decisions about everything pretty much i'm like is it in my highest interest is it in my highest interest is it in my highest interest and that gets you connected and and it pushes you away from the should you don't want to use should because what happens with should and and this is what i'm going to share with you energetically is that it makes you wrong or it compares you to something right so it's like it's comparing you to to a night like this thing idea that you have or that someone else believes that you should have right should right shoulds is is like shoulds and have tos or shouldn'ts are things we don't want to put into our vocabulary our vocabulary and how we communicate with ourselves because what it does is that it really um makes us wrong or it makes us right or it makes someone else wrong or it makes them right and we want to move out of the yes we want to move out of the the right and the wrong because the you the way the universe works is that it always gives you what you want right so in essence it's like you're always right so if you believe in being rich then you will get that if you believe in suffering then you will get that like the universe doesn't judge your feeling it just gives you what you're asking so when you connect to the my highest interest you're connecting to the same language of the universe okay and you're connecting to your highest good right you're channeling your highest self you're not channeling anything else other than your highest self okay awesome so i hope you have your five questions so now i just want you to look at your questions and just take the first one that you wrote and you want to put it in the terms of is it in my highest interest to blah 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 right so now i want you to take the index card okay like so and uh for the purposes of this i'm going to use this as like my flat surface and you're going to face them facing down okay and you're going to mix it right so that you don't know which one's what right you don't know what response is what you don't even know if they're upright okay so now here you go now separate them and you want to repeat the question 5 times right so that your energy is focused on that and not something else because it's going to pick up on your predominant thought so you could say is it in my highest interest to do blah 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 but you're thinking about something else it's going to pick up on the thought so repeating it 5 times really puts you into focusing what you're saying and what you're reading so look now look at your paper of the first question is it in my highest interest to and then fill in the blank and we're going to say that 5 times 
Is it in my highest interest to, that's two times, is it in my highest interest to, is it in my highest interest to, is it in my highest interest to, great. Now take your hand, your dominant hand. And just allow yourself to feel the pulses. You might feel the pulse in your third eye because we're now channeling. And you will also feel the pulse in your hand. Okay, can you see that? Okay, and you're just gonna pick a card, right? So I didn't ask a question, but so I'm just gonna randomly just pull a card. So I'm not feeling any type of pulling, right? Because I didn't ask a question. But full, you wanna do that, right? So you're gonna take that. Let's say it's this one. I got the yes. Maybe you got yes. Maybe you got no. Maybe you got maybe. Right? And you want to write this down. And we're going to do this question five times. Okay? So now we're going to... Oops. So now the, you write down your first response. Right? So now we're going to go back. And we're still asking the same question. Number one. And now I'm just mixing it. Okay. Now good. So now is we're going to do it again. Is it in my highest interest to 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 Great. Now go and feel again and then pick the card that it is. And you're going to repeat that five times for each question. And I know I'm having you do this repetitively. And the reason is so that you could build, right? You could build the trust in your intuition, right? Um, and this is something that I find is measurable. It's simple, okay? Easy is different than simple, and I want to just share this really quickly because I see people use this, these two words in, interchangeably. And simple and easy are very different, and they shouldn't be really used interchangeably. And this is why. Something that is easy has very minimal effort, right? So it's easy to brush my teeth, right? It's easy to brush my hair. It's breezy. I mean, it's easy, Vicar Breezy. <laughs> it's easy, you know, to whatever. Right? Very minimal effort. Now, simple is completely different. Simple is that it is manageable. It is doable. But there is effort that is applied to, to bringing that into your life, right? So when someone says, right, and they really know the difference between simple and easy, um, when they say this is simple, then they're giving you simple tools like I'm giving you now, right? These are simple tools that you can do. You, you don't need to have a lot of resources to this, to do this. You can do this with the things you have in your home, okay? And all you need is just to allow yourself to be in a centered place. In last week's video on part number seven, we talked about being centered and we, I walked you through a meditation. So if you want to learn more about being centered, you can check out part number seven. And the way that you get that is by going to my website and I'll have the link below. So something that's really cool is that as you start doing this, you start building your, your trust towards your intuition so then then you could start getting more intuitive hits when you're asking just once so now we're asking five times repeating the question five times so that your energy is focused on what you are asking something that's really important with intuition is to focus your attention on what it is that you want okay you want to focus your attention on what it is that you want and what it is that you're asking. So right now we're trying to get clarity in some area in our life based on whatever question in which you are asking for. 
okay? And the way that you move into this is by building your trust. And this is what we're doing right now. I'm helping you develop and trust in your intuition so that when you are, you know, deciding on a quick note, is it in my highest interest to go to the movies? Is it in my highest interest to stay home tonight? You will be able to feel the answer right away where you won't even need these cards, right? And that's, you know, eventually where I want you to get to, right? Eventually, I want you to get to the space where you are intuitively connected to your highest self, right? You, you say, hold on, I'm going to check in with my highest self and you just stop for a moment. And you say, okay, is it in my highest interest to go and do this activity? Is it in my highest interest to do this investment? Is it in my highest interest to do whatever it is that you are moving forward? And as you start practicing this simple part, you can get to that level. Okay, I promise you, you will. And I wouldn't lie to you. I take my word very serious with you. Okay, so do this with the rest of the questions that you have and see if you get the response right so i know we're doing doing the same question five times so you may get three yeses a no and a maybe go with the one that has the most results okay if you get a tie and a response right so let's say you got two yeses two no's and a maybe then what do you do you have to go back and see if the question is framed in a way that it might be confusing. You don't want to combine the question. You don't want to do a compound question. You want a singular question where you ask one thing, right? When you're doing one, is it in my highest interest to go outside this afternoon? Okay. You don't want to say, is it in my highest interest to go outside or to stay inside this afternoon? That's two questions. Is it in my highest interest to go to stay inside this afternoon is one question. The other question would be, is it in my highest interest to, to go outside this afternoon? And you could even get more specific, like, is it in my highest interest to go outside between 12 and 2 p.m. today? Right? And the more um, kind of specific you can get with the question, the more likely you're going to get more accurate response. Okay, so you're also learning how to ask a singular question. And um, I know that could be difficult because I know when I'm doing readings for people, I'm like, okay, ask me one question. And then they'll give me like three questions. I'm like, okay, um, that's three questions in one. And, and, and I was like, can you break that down into what it is you actually do want? So I know that it is hard for us to just come up with one thing. Just come up with one question, one singular response, right? Because if you have a question, should is it in my highest interest to go in, to stay inside or go outside? It's two questions. You're going to get a mixed result, okay? You're not going to get the clarity that you need, okay? So I hope this, this was helpful. I really enjoyed being here with you. I wanted to also let you know, and I'll have this information up later this week, okay? I am doing... A, I'm hosting with another host from Peaceful Play, um, Praise, who is a great friend of mine who does really great work. She's a prayer chaplain at the Unity Church, and she does weddings and all of these great things, and she's a part of the ministry. And we are actually going to collaborate on a free call at the end of this month on the 27th so it's going to be tuesday the 27th at 9 p.m eastern standard time okay and i'll have the information for that for you and what we're going to be doing is clearing the path for 2017 so anything before 2017 we're going to now start clearing we're going to call on our angels our spirit guides she's going to do also her part and her contribution into the the prayers and we're going to do a burning bowl ceremony for those of you who know what that means if you don't, don't worry about it. It's going to be a lot of fun. And guess what? It's going to be completely free. We are doing this as a gift to everyone. So I will be sharing the information on my Facebook page 
So make sure that you like Miracles Within Us so that you can be updated on how you can get and reserve your seat. Okay, that's going to be really important so that you can show up. We're not going to do it on Facebook Live. We're going to do a live webinar. So I'm really, really, really excited to do this, to be working with my friend Shay from Peaceful Praise, and she has great stuff. I've even shared some of her prayers here on my Facebook page, so go ahead, check her out, go like her page as well. And I'm really, really excited to collaborate with her, and also, I'm really, 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 really excited to be able to bring this to you so that you can start the new year 2017 completely clear of any debts and karmas and attachments and really bring yourself in a clear space so that you can make 2017 your best year yet so thank you thank you thank you i will have that information soon up here so you can reserve your seat and until the next time i love you unconditionally